Next, we turn to the deadly tour boat accident. The sunken duck boat will be raised from the bottom of Table Rock Lake in Missouri tomorrow. Investigators set to examine the ship's data recorder, zeroing in on the captain and what he allegedly told passengers about the life vests on board. It comes as we see this haunting family photo for the first time. Taken just before that family boarded the boat, only two of them would survive. ABC's Marcus Moore is there in Branson, Missouri. Tonight, the NTSB preparing to examine data taken from the dune boat's recorder found 80 feet below the surface. Investigators hoping it may reveal what happened in the final moments before it capsized, killing 17. We think it'll show what the actions were of the captain, uh, what he tried to do to maneuver the, the vessel, uh, as well as uh, any instructions he might have been given to the uh, passengers. Survivor Tia Coleman is seen here in this family photo, taken just before her three small children, husband, and five other relatives died. Tonight, she claims the captain told them they wouldn't need their life jackets. He said, above you are your life jackets. There's three sizes. He said, I'm going to show you where they, are, where they are, but you won't need them, so no need to worry. So we didn't grab them. Coleman believes her family might still be alive if they had worn them. I felt like if I was able to get a life jacket, I could have saved my babies because they could have at least floated up to the top and somebody could have grabbed them. And I wasn't able to do that. The allegations coming as officials are also reviewing videos like these taken by passengers on a duck boat nearby that returned to the shore safely. Poor people. On Thursday, the NTSB says Table Rock Lake had six foot swells and near hurricane force winds when that boat sank. And Marcus Moore joins us live now in Branson. And Marcus, as you just mentioned, the weather clearly played a role in this horrible accident. But this tragedy is now being treated as a criminal investigation. Uh, that's right, Tom. A at least until they can rule out the possibility that a crime occurred here. Investigators have already interviewed the boat's captain. And, Tom, we have word tonight that crews will be pulling that boat out of the water tomorrow. Marcus Moore, live for us in Branson, Missouri. Marcus, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.